We do indeed. So if you're a snake on International Snake Day, best you avoid this area because this is a bird that specializes in going after snakes. It is a brown snake eagle. And you can see, look at its very large eye. That yellow eye is diagnostic with a rounded head and those bare featherless legs which are filled with hardened scales. So as snakes are caught and try to strike back at this bird to injure it, you'll find a situation where those legs are so hard that the fangs don't actually get through them and venom then can't be injected into the legs and the snake can then pick up that, I mean the snake eagle can pick up the snake, fly up and then dispatch the snake from there. Every now and then it does go wrong for a snake eagle. We know of that story with that black mamba that took on the snake eagle close to Chitwa Dam that ended up in an epic struggle between the snake eagle and the black mamba until Tundi and Tumba got involved and all four of them were embroiled in the struggle and it was interesting because what happened is the snake eagle came down and it looked like an immature snake eagle it wasn't a full grown adult and it took on a mamba a little bit bigger than what it had originally thought and as it came down it landed too low down on the mamba and the mamba reared up and managed to get the snake eagle around the face and neck area and it obviously got in enough venom to cause some distress for that snake eagle it didn't die straight away but it almost went paralyzed and then Tandi and Tumba came in when the struggle ensued and the noise that came and they were actually more interested in the mamba than they were in the snake eagle but eventually what happened was the snake disappeared and Tandi disappeared whether or not she actually got the snake no one knows it was all sort of that after the drive finished that it was going on and we came back that afternoon and the poor snake eagle was still lying under the bush completely immobile but alive which was not very pleasant at all and the next morning it was gone so i think something like a hyena or maybe even tundi came back and finished off the job that evening but it just goes to show you that even when you are the predator you can sometimes become the prey if you're not careful about what you do so these snake eagles need to be a little bit wary and it is amazing that they can go after these mumbers and puff adders and all these venomous snakes that we get out of out here in south africa and, and still come off best so pretty interesting bird now below the snake eagle there is a camouflaged animal and it's an animal that doesn't really strike you as being camouflaged when you see them so just down the road if we look there you try to see if you can spot an animal and I'm not talking about the bird but just there if you see a little ear poking out just to the left there Craig there it is so there is a little ear of a zebra so you would have thought that the zebra's color and pattern would have stuck out but there its head is shaking but you can see black and white patterns actually do blend in behind the contrast of the bush so there is a zebra it's turned its head and now you can see it a little bit better isn't that incredible